So what are we here for? We are here for a DMIT business webinar, Dermatographic Multiple Intelligence Test. Learn how DMIT can help you change the orbit is what we're gonna be talking today. Learn how you can create a monopoly and charge premium from the customer. And today I'm here to actually give you a lifetime deal for DMIT. If you like it, you can take it, right? So these are the three agendas that we have it today. Now, having said that, let's understand what is the history of DMIT. Research started about 150 years back in USA when there were kids who were born without the, uh, you know, the brain, the cortex. So the kids who were not having a brain were not even having a fingerprint. So it was realized there's some connection between the brain and the fingerprint. And when this happened, it caught the eye. Definitely the people started and the research started, started happening. And till date, there are more than 4,000 papers which have been sub submitted. And uh, the researchers has like the 5 lakh people uh, fingerprints were being like, you know, analyzed, summarized, you know, compared. And finally, you know, there's a meaning that was made out of it. Like, uh, so that larger data base was being taken to primarily make a meaning out of it. So when you talk in terms of an evolution of uh, like DMIT, the research started, as I said, long back, 1893, Sir Francis Galton, then Dr. Harold Cummins, who is also considered to be a, you know, he's a father of it, like, you know, father of this science, DMIT. So Dr. Harold Cummins is considered to be the father of it. Then going forward, like, you know, a lot of people came who were researching and who made some mark and made some important contributions. But then in 1983, Dr. Howard Gardner came up with a multiple intelligence theory, which was widely accepted. And that's the theory which, you know, the complete career coaching and career counseling is based on today, right? So that's the way like it started evolving. So what is DMIT? Let's understand what is DMIT, right? Uh, dermatographic is the study of rich skin pattern, also known as dermatographics, which can be found on fingers, palm, toes, soles, and even tongue for that matter. It's five places it's being found. But generally, tongue, you can't really use it, right? Toes and soles, you can't use it. Palms are not very friendly to be used. So ultimately, the only thing left is fingerprint patterns. And therefore, like the fingerprints are taken. Fingerprints are considered to be, these are unique. These are the five places where these are unique in every human being, okay? Now, through medical researches, it is found that fingerprints are formed during the 13th to 19th prenatal week. The new cortex, the new cortex is developed during the same period as well. So when the child is born, I mean, on when the child is in mother's womb, at that point of time from 13 to 19th week, both the things develop simultaneously, the fingerprint and the brain. Both the things are simultaneously developing. This is why the brain dedicates the majority of approximately 200 million nerves ending to the hands. Scientists integrated genetics, embryology, dermatographics, and neural sciences with the theory of multiple intelligence. So this was the kind of an integration and research which has happened where there were four sciences or rather five sciences, genetics, embryology, that's about the egg, Dermatographic, that is about the skin, skin patterns, neural sciences, we all know, and with the theory of multiple intelligence. There are eight multiple intelligence that Dr. Howard Gardner has talked about it. So all these things were clubbed together. With that, a personal person's personality and talents can be analyzed and classified accordingly because there were five lakh fingerprints were being taken at that point of time, and there was statistic, comparison, data analysis, you know, recording, everything happened. So that stats is something, you know, with which the study had gone. And as I said, there were 4,000 papers being submitted, a lot of stuff happened. And finally, this science took birth. Yeah. Okay. Now, there are four types of DMIT reports that can be generated. So the very first one is, the lifetime report and that's the major thing so lifetime report is the something which is a very exhaustive report and that really helps us as well as the parents as well as the child to understand deeper into it 
so in lifetime report it's a 69 page report and uh, we shall be and it talks about multiple intelligence it talks about rias theory uh, that's about the personality type it talks about career selection it talks about preferred learning style brain dominance quotients personality type primary and secondary thought process whether whether the child is executor or a thinker leadership style acquiring method and many more things so this is what the lifetime report is going to reveal second is the hr report hr report works best for corporates in hiring and inter departmental transfer so hr report has got that contribution but normally not many people in india has been using this report right so it's as a feel good factor you have the software to generate the report but generally you don't have many clients if you want if you can sell it to somebody it's perfectly okay third thing is the basic report basic report is generally used to oblige somebody or to give it as a demo right uh, or you do you want to collect the data of a school and you can just do the basic report uh, for them and like you know put some people who are just taking a fingerprint ideas to collect the data and on the basis of like you know this 10 page report that you can actually like talk to the parents and can say this is very basic we have a advanced report of 69 70 pages and you know that would have loads of things is very very basic it would just give you an idea a very basic idea but if you really want an exhaustive career coaching then i think that's the thing you should go for so this is the basic uh, report right then comes in compatibility report compatibility report is really cool now this is something it's a scientific way where the two people are getting married for that matter and people get their janam patri you know like uh, matched i mean these days it has stopped happening and there there's still they, people who are doing it but there are there are a lot of people who don't even consider that but yeah if you really want to you know like compare yourself then it's ultimately at the end of it the arguments and everything happen through the brain that we have it right so we need to be analyzing how compatible your brains are so if your brains are compatible your you know nature you need to understand you know which parts a person the female is good and which parts a male is good at so in that case what happens is you are able to create a you are able to understand that on what areas the veto power power should be there with the female and what areas the male should have a veto power so it's like that similarly if you really talk about the second place that this report is widely used is the two people who are who are going to get become a partner and they just want to compare and just see how compatible are they and which are the areas where they can divide the roles again the same you know for for the to get into the partnership also this can happen or you are already into the partnership when you want to decide upon the different roles that you are going to play so this brings in lot of clarity on a scientific ground that's the idea of the dmit compatibility test right so these mind trees dmit software will generate all four type of reports okay now the best part is that you can design and brand your front page whatever is the front page that you want to have it you can just design it on canva.com just go and design the pretty thing and uh, just send it across to us and we will be able to like you know definitely give you the branded software of yours and uh, that's something that you have designed right now coming to why the why the parents buy a dermatographic multiple intelligence analysis test so there are three major reasons right i mean i mean it's a complete exhaustive science but i don't want to talk about everything but the three major reason the first one is every child is unique but a method to handle them is common and usual so there are different domains and multiple domains on which the children are unique you know every child is unique the way the fingerprints are unique the way we are unique we have we have a uniqueness so every child is unique but a method to handle them is the same you know in class the teacher handled the kids in the same fashion and even as a parent we handled the kid in the same fashion without realizing that's first number two every child has an inborn talent but uh, child and parents fail to identify it that we are talking about a multiple intelligence so every child has got that intelligence multiple intelligence but since we don't know about it so we are not able to actually help them nurture it we just take it normally and coolly third thing is every child has a different uh, learning style but a teaching style is same you know and that is most important some people are auditory learner some people are visual learner and some people are um, kinesthetic learner so you have three different type of learners 
learning style is different but the way we teach them or even in the school that we teach is the same so if a person who is an auditory learner if you try to teach him in the kinesthetic fashion he would not learn or if somebody is a visual learner you try to teach him in the kinesthetic fashion again he would not learn so the person who is visual has to learn visually the person who is an auditory learner will have to learn by sound by word by you know like tone and tempo and when you talk about the third one the person who is like a kinesthetic learner will have to do it himself feel it and then the child, the person will be able to learn so unless we know that what is the child or what kind of a learning style that the child possesses how do we teach him that's an idea right now coming to let me show you a glimpses of the dmit report what are the kind of a glimpses that we have now this is the dis theory and this theory is about like about there's a dis profiling dis profiling is called dominant it's like a personality type huh? you have a primary personality and the secondary personality so primary personality in this case is coming out to be dominant and secondary personality is again dominant for some people it's same say different so primary personality is like the personality that we have it you know at home and secondary personality is the personality that we have it outside now if you really talk about it so dominant first is dominant dominant is eager second is influential that is peacock third is compliant that is owl personality and fourth is steady that is a dove dove personality so this is something this report will help you to understand you the people who are into the who have done the management they would know the swot analysis strength weakness opportunity and threat the support will help you to do the swot analysis for your child and then multiple intelligence so we know about the multiple intelligence we have already learnt about the multiple intelligence but are you aware that there are 19 different type of sub intelligence also so not only through this report you would come to know about the multiple intelligence but also you would come to know about the 19 sub intelligence this is something which is taking you to a deeper levels right brain dominance whether you are a left brainer or the right brainer and so important to understand because if you are able to optimize the both part of the brain then only you will get the best result if you one brain is dominant definitely you would lack somewhere so unless we understand whether we are left or right brain dominant just by guesswork we can't really know then comes in sense and thought process like you know we have five senses so it will talk about which is the strongest sense for example in this listen is coming out to be the highest isn't it then you have your thought process like visual auditory tactical think and or action so this person is an action taker like highest is action so thought process like you know person is an action taker you have the ability to plan and execute your goals that is what it is yeah then questions like we have uh, iq we have eq we have cq and we have iaq iq everybody knows intelligent question cq few people know creative question eq also now people know emotional question right and then finally the aq adversity question like you know if the tough time comes how is that you're going to be reacting so these things are very important right now comes in learning style there are three type of learning style visual learner kinesthetic learner and auditory learner so what is the type of you learning style what is the percentage acquiring method how you going to acquire the information self cognitive you know self learning effective method is something where you are able to copy somebody reverse method is if somebody will ask you to go to mumbai you will you'll first go to kolkata and then go to mumbai so it's like completely opposite direction right and reflective method is like very easy going type or i would rather bluntly say lazy guy you know the person who has that kind of acquiring method like you have to push him to acquire them on level of information otherwise not interested into the information right so you come to know about that then extra curricular activity while you talk about an extra curricular activity there's so many of them like dance instrument singing acting swimming move uh, horse riding chess snooker foreign languages and painting and many more right so we have so many things but we are generally confused during the summer vacation what to learn what to acquire so it will help you to understand that if you go into this you'll be able to perform better 
so at least one or two things you can try it out you know which has got the highest scoring so that's the importance rather than burning money and trying many things if you are aware of it that this is something that that you can be better in you can at least try your hands on that right finally it comes to the stream selection and career you know like stream selection is like uh, you have uh, science commerce and mathematics you have science commerce and arts so this report will help you to understand which is the best stream for you and also it will give you a career options like you know the two star one star two star three star four star and five star five star are definitely the best four are good too so if you have four star and three star so it will give you almost about 100 plus career options and it will tell you uh, the star rating that you have it so this is which it can guide you about the career as well and it's a complete 69 page i've just taken the glimpse of these synopsis of these report and at at last you know you get the one page synopsis and this will one page summary so this is the way like in the last page is all about one page summary where this is primarily for the counselors and this page you know in in a nutshell you don't have to really go through the entire report initially you will but then gradually you will just look at this page you'll understand the things and you'll be able to you know pick up the counseling immediately you don't really have to wait for anything right so because this page gives you every information that you would require to counsel the child or a parent so then there's a counselor remarks that comes in right because now this can be done even physically for that matter and this can be done either on the zoom platform also so maybe fingerprint can be collected physically and then on zoom you can counsel the parents that's the way it works okay now our train bmit counselors further has empowered 5000 students in fact i used to sell this to the people initially i mean like 3 3 and a half years back we used to give this as a part of a package but then uh, you know during the covid we we stopped doing that and we thought that people would be interested to do the online education center and therefore like you know that has worked pretty well but then if you add this into your pt that will also do some great job for the students and also for you like you know this is going to help do you find the product interesting if you find the product interesting now is the time it's your turn you can add this product into your pt with your own brand name four reports that you can get it what is that your business kit will involve contain so dmit report generation software will have four different reports lifetime report hr report compatibility and basic report i am sharing into the chat window the link right now you can just uh, uh, like you know click the link and download all the reports so that you have an idea the type of uh, reports which are there dmit scanning software you'll get it dmit rich counter software will get it training dashboard with lifetime access you'll get it support on whatsapp and zoom as required as and when that that is definitely there right what it doesn't include is it doesn't include biometric scanner which generally costs 4 and a half 5000 rupees so that is something let us buy it for once and like it's just a one time buy it is not an arc software there are two type of software one is like arc and one is non arc 3 to 4% of the people whose fingerprints are not you know supporting the report system so what happens is their reports cannot be generated if they have got certain type of fingerprint in multiple fingers that's called arc technically so what the people did it they just you know like uh, played with the algorithm uh, to overcome that problem so but the original structure is without the arc so i have that report and that is the only thing that i offer to the people i have opportunity to have the arc software also but somehow when i compared myself the reports i was not too satisfied so i i decided to pursue with this only dmit has some negative reviews as well in google so google if you really talk about it everything has got positive and negative reviews but for dmit you know there are uh, like two three uh, uh, reviews which are there which are negative 90% reviews are positive but then two three people like hindu like telegraph have written something but at the same time it is mentioned that it is just the opinion so opinions are freely available in india to my mind you know the people who go for uh, claims and certifications and authenticity and all the stuff i only know one thing you know for me because i've done it personally it is a very authentic product and it does wonder when the people who are very interesting in certification then it's a wrong window because 
there's no certifying authority in that if there's no certifying authority so all these certificates you know a giving a certificate to b and b giving certificate to c c would not matter so generally the price for this is 25000 rupees but the special webinar price is not 25000 rupees be 12375 so primarily i am going to give you this product for for 12375 all inclusive otherwise let me tell you if you really check it out google it out you'll realize that these products are generally available for 25000 to 50000 rupees right but what i'm going to do is i'm going to give you a complete tmit thing for 12375 rupees so i am going to offer you this special price of 12375 rupees where i am going to give you all the four reports and the entire business kit so the people who are able to understand and able to relate and who feel that you know this is something that they want to add up into the kitty right now this is the golden relaunch offer and just grab it because it's one additional product that comes to you and this comes with a lot of power a lot of value and this can really give your business a push